brand new show that airs every Friday at 12 o'clock and can be heard 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's night after night, sometimes in the studio with great guests or maybe even on location. But here they are, Charles and Lisa with Night After Night. Welcome to the show that brings you what's happening on the Space Coast entertainment scene. I'm Charles Knight along with the always desirable Lisa Knight. And together we're night after night. And we're back again this week with an informative and fun hour of musical information. Today we're going to be talking about the Sam Jam 5, a benefit show featuring a tremendous amount of talent, regional, local, and international talent, as well as the BMA Awards show, which is coming up soon. And on today's show, we have a very special guest, a dear friend of ours, the Rhino himself, Mr. Kenny Earl. Kenny Woo! is the ex drummer for bands such as Man of War and Holy Hell. And at, at, is at this time, in the process of writing the second Angels of Babylon record. We'll have Kenny here with us in a bit. Also in a little while, I'll be telling everyone what's going on tonight and tomorrow night for this weekend. We'll also be chatting a bit with our producer, Wayne Breeden. He always has some interesting news about community events and things going on in the in the Space Coast area. Yes, sir, Bobby does, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> and once again today, we're going to give honorable mention to a couple of the Space Coast's own super fans. Super fans are people that actively support local live music, and on Night After Night, that's what we're about. So we want to give credit where credit's due. To the folks that actually go into the clubs and spend their money and their time for their love of live music and their favorite musicians. Speaking of which, we'd like to invite all of the bands out there and the musicians listening or watching to uh, go to the official, that's the official Night After Night Facebook page and send us the names of your diehard fans. They're supporting the local scene, they're supporting you, so let's support them. Absolutely, and I've got the lowdown on most of the open mic and jam nights that are happening so that you can go jam or just listen and party or network. And as always, Charles has some famous musicians' birthdays to tell us about. Ah, love of my life, Lisa. How are you today, dear? I am wonderful, thank you. Life is good? Life is fantastic. We're here once again in our living room. We have our children with us. We have guests. We have Wayne. Funny looking Wayne at that. He's here Cats, with us today. Cats, dogs, birds, frogs. And we're really <laughs> excited to have Kenny here with us today, aren't you? Oh my goodness. I know, I know. Kenny is the man. The man. Awesome musician. I didn't realize how diversified he is. Yeah, he's, he's really good at what he does. Yes. Um, you, you want Anyways, to I'm sorry, I can't help but stare at you for a moment. You caught my attention. Oh, hush up. What? Sexy, glittery man of mine. <laughs> Look over at Wayne. Now Make sure you wear your sunglasses from so Wayne. you don't burn your eyelids. I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, 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 what do you have to share with us today? You know, there's always a lot of great things going on in the Space Coast. You guys have been covering it. You done, do a great job. Uh, but the biggest thing is for, uh, like, the Queen of Hearts Foundation for Disabled Children, all the events that we did. We did, like I said, we did 27 events last year, and you helped me out with a lot of them. But one really yes. big one is going to be at Jet Bodine's Honda of Melbourne, okay? You know, you got before kids can go places, they need places to go. All right, and this uh, benefit's gonna help um, these uh, kids get uh, accomplish and learn the skills and confidence and experiences they need to grow and to do what they need to do to be better. Okay, Jet Bodine's are big, a big one for anything that has anything to do with the kids and, and uh, numerous of different benefits that he does. But it's the first annual Palm Bay PAL. Um, at uh, Palm Bay PAL, the Police Athletic League, they're gonna hold it on August 26th, okay? Uh, like I said, at Jeff Bodine's, they're going to have a 50 50 raffle and auction, the bounce houses. All the kids are going to be there. So bring your kids out there, get your pictures taken with Jeff and the whole bit. There's going to be food, there's going to be beer. Uh, and for more information, you can are go they to. Have beer for the kids? Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be taking it away from the kids. That's why the police are there. No, I'm kidding. But uh, no, the, the Palm Bay Pal. Uh, dot com. You can go to that website and check them out, and they'll give you all the information. Or you can call them at 952-3530. It's always great to get involved with the kids, and especially with you guys. You guys have done a lot for the kids. And uh, so, along with RSPN, we all have, and uh, it's a great thing to get involved with. But go down and meet Jeff. That's August 26th. Um, we can have a great time. I'm going to be there. Hopefully, you guys are going to be there. And then the next day, I get to hang out with you guys on the 27th. So it's all going to be a great weekend. At the BMAs, that's right. Yes. Well, Wayne, once again, Lisa, silently wondering just how many times you were dropped on your head as an <laughs> infant. I mean, seriously, man. Must you wear that ballerina costume <laughs> to the studio? It's driving me you crazy. You two over here so we could all see you in that sexy little I, number you got. You like the bright green, you like the bright green huh? 
I, I hope he got his undies on today, at least, please. Oh, goodness. Anyway, it's time for a break. We're night after night, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Right Sports Apparel, two locations and 10 years in running at the Super Flea and Farmer's Market west of I-95 off of O'Galley Boulevard and a brand new location in Old Town, Historic Melbourne, 822 East New Haven Avenue in Old Town, Melbourne. Jerseys, jackets, Nike, Reebok shoes, hat, jewelry, magnetic signs. Support your favorite team, football, baseball, basketball, NASCAR. It doesn't matter where your favorite teams, 40 teams in 40 days at two locations at the Super Flea and Farmer's Market west of I-95 and in Melbourne at 822. West New Haven Avenue. Visit www.facebook.com forward slash right sports. It's a great place to win. A brand new atmosphere with all the right people. You can enjoy the music and the fun and outstanding out of the way place are Oasis. Formerly Kelly's Irish Pub at 830 Wickham Road in Melbourne. It's right next to Wassie's Meat. Sundays, we've got NASCAR, a crash tickets, free pool, happy hour, open to close. Monday through Friday, happy hour from 11 to 6. These Margarita Monday at $2.50. Tuesdays, open white night with Mo. Wednesdays, happy hour, open to close, free pool, and free dive bar bait. Ladies night on Thursday with DJ Larry, Friday karaoke with Terry, and Saturdays is just one big surprise. Now there's a chance to take a break, not your regular bar, it's our Oasis at 830 Wickham Road, and that's where bikers are always welcome. You want, no you need to keep your vehicle on the road, then you better take it to Hot Rays Auto Repair. Hot Rays Auto Repair, where our master certified ASE technician meets all of your needs. From tires to engines, any make or model, foreign or domestic, gas or diesel, even RVs, all at competitive rates. Our technician must be the best of the best. He maintains every JJ's Hot Rays limousine and keeps them on the road all around Brevard. Make Hot Rays Auto Repair your auto service source. Call us today. Okay, we're back, and if you're watching the show on Facebook or on YouTube, remember that you can hear all of the other great shows on the RSPN network as well as Night After Night by going to www.accordingthenumber2wayne.com. There's the Fishing Physician, all about racing and tailgating, which is a great new show with the coolest and most unusual ideas for recipes for tailgating or just playing cooking out and coming soon. The Man Cave with John Davis. John's going to be giving us highlights and lots of good football stuff. Su that Superstar John Davis. Superstar Super John Davis. Star. Yeah. Mr. Wrestler. That's it. Okay, well, I want to be known from here on out as Lesser Star Charles Knight. <laughs> If he's going to have that title, I'm going to have one too, even if it has to be lesser, okay? <laughs> At any rate, he's going to have a lot of good stuff, a lot of great stuff on football going all the way from Pop Warner, middle school, high school, college, and the NFL. That's a lot of balls, Charles. Yes, it is. I should know. Remember, that's according to Wayne.com. That's the number two in the middle. And hey, folks, go to our website. Then you'll find out a lot of stuff. There's a lot of good things going on. Yes, there is. Great website. By our own Lauren Stoner, the ad girl. The ad girl. She's got it tattooed on her forehead, by the way. You'll see her coming. <laughs> okay, it's time for some musical birthdays, famous musical birthdays, Charles. What have you got today? I don't I hope I can say that easier than you did. A little bit. I love you. <laughs> All right, well, this month we've got Joe Elliott, the lead singer from Def Leppard. He was born in 1959, Tommy Bolin. Were he alive today, would be celebrating a birthday as well. Tommy, uh, had a, a very diverse career. He, uh... <clears throat> <laughs> no one's home. <laughs> Freaking rock stars. I love show business. Freaking rock stars. <laughs> please turn your phones on silent. I can't, man. I'm, I'm in demand. I'm a rock star. <laughs> Okay. So All right, so we're just going to let this go. We're not going to edit this part out. Um, <laughs> just so you know, that was Rhino's phone going on. Okay. <laughs> Tommy Bolin, were he alive today, um, would be quite old because he was born in 1951. I'm going to leave it at that. Joe Lynn Turner, one of my favorite vocalists of all time, Rainbow Deep Purple, Ingve Malmsteen. He was born in 1951. Stephen Carpenter of the Deftones, 1970. Ed Rowland, the lead singer, guitarist, vocalist of <clears throat> Collective Soul, 1963. Jerry Hollywell, one of my favorites of all time, the Spice Girls, Ginger Spice. She was oh, born in 1963. She's I was being facetious. Oh, she is, so I'm not. 
Alan Holdsworth of UK and uh, Soft Machine, a great progressive guitar player, was born in 1946. And last but not least, Scott Stapp of Creed, 1973. They're going back on tour. We're hoping they'll send us backstage passes so we can go talk to them. You hear that, Scott? All right. Anyway. <laughs> That's enough of that. It's time for the, for me to hand it over to you, Lisa, so you can tell us what's going on around the Space Coast tonight, Friday night, August 10th. Alrighty, I would love to. Flashback, we'll be at Pinto's Lounge in Titusville from 9.30 to 1.30. Lady DB and the Dukes at the Beach Shack in Cogo Beach from 8 to 12. Okay, Whitey Bryan, he was Whitey one of Bryan. our interviewees last week. Yes, uh, yeah. great interview from him and Mark Lepesca. Yeah, that's right. We have the Barefoot Band at the Sports Pub in Cocoa Beach from 9 to 1 a.m. John Quinn Livin Band, Heartbreaker at Oshuck Seafood Bar in Cocoa Beach from 7 to 11 p.m. That's a great venue and a great band. Mammoth Band at HD Roadhouse Bar and Grill in Merritt Island. Bone Dogs, our own Bone Dogs, some of our good friends. They will be at the Key West Bar in Indian Harbor Beach from 9 to 1 a.m. Luna Pearl at Girls Riverside, Melbourne, 7.30 to 11.30. Always a great show with those guys. Yes, Always a great show. absolutely. Guys and girls. And girls, yes. Bullet Theory at Off the Tracks in downtown Melbourne from 9.30 to 1.30. Shout out to Sammy and Squeegee. Mm -hmm. Red Tide, great young musicians. They'll be at Siggy's All-American Bar in Palm Bay from 9.30 to 1 a.m. And Rock Shot, another Quinlevin at TV Bar and Grill and Sebastian from 7 to 11. So that's some good shows going on tonight. That's it for tonight, honey? Yes, it is. Well, Actually, I forgot one mention. GS Teaser, they will be at Crossroads tonight. So they go will? see Steve and the boys, yes. Who's singing for them? I don't know. It's not us. It's not us. Okay, well, have fun. <laughs> anyway, they're playing tonight as well. Thank you, you delicious little piece of sexiness. I love you so much. As always, you did a great job. Now, can you fill us in on some of the open mic jam nights that are going on around town this week? Of course I will. We have Tuesdays at our Oasis with Mo. He's hosting a great jam night that's been going on for a while. Tracy's the bartender for the evening. She's a hoot. Go see these two um, jam out. He's usually got a guest and a musician of some sorts. I think last week was Chuck Van Ripper, Riper. <laughs> Riper. He's the Ripper, that's why I call him that. Um, I don't know who is this week coming up, but they have a great jam night from 7 to 11 on Tuesdays. Wednesday, the Wet Spot, infamous Wet Spot. Everybody likes going there. They usually have a different host band every Wednesday as well. That's from 7 to 11. Um, great little place to go and jam and hang out. And then Thursdays, of course, have to mention cheers to you. The happeni happeningest. Most happening? Most happening. Rockin' jam night going on right now in Fard County. That's from 8.39 to whenever we decide to cut the music off. Um, we've had some fantastic bands. Last week was He Was I. We've got some people coming up. We'll be Bone Dogs, Matt Sam's band. Um, Swamp Fox is coming back. So many different bands have come on board and are doing these jam nights. Never know who's going to pop in. We've had awesome surprise guests pop up. Um, uh, Kenny O would be one of them. Yes, he would. Our guest and today. I have seen the man sing and drum and rock out. And I've seen oh, and you've seen him play bass too. Play bass, yeah. I've seen a lot of really fantastic musicians who I already had kudos for step up and do something I've never imagined they would do. So, pretty cool. And I've seen you on John's, I think, once or twice. Uh, <laughs> let's not even mention it. <laughs> Anyways, great, great jam night. Cheers to you Thursdays. Uh, wow. Fantastic. Anything else? I would like to mention, folks, once again about the BMA Awards show on August 27th at the Henniger Center in beautiful downtown Melbourne. Yes, dear, it's going to be one heck of a party. Everyone's going to be there to find out who the winners are in the various categories. We'll be there along with our producer, Wayne Breeden. Lisa Wayne's going to be in his hot pink evening gown, <laughs> red ruby stiletto heels, and he's a little worried about his makeup, though, so... Lisa and I have arranged to get a drywall and a stucco guy in to help with that, <laughs> and... Uh, 
Am I supposed to apply makeup after that? <laughs> well, you certainly don't want to do it prior to that. It would be too much of a challenge. But I know that if anybody can help them out, it's you. Oh, Remember, folks. Yeah that all of the monetary proceeds from the actual show are put into a fund aiding musicians in need, so it's there for the betterment of the local music community. Yes, that's correct. And how many clubs or venues carry health insurance on the bands out there? The answer to that is a resounding zero. So uh, that's right. So remember, that's August 27th in beautiful downtown Melbourne at the Henniger Center. That's the BMAs, the Brevard Music Awards. Lisa and I, Wayne, and somebody else will be there, along with hundreds and hundreds of talented people. Just, uh, it's a great way to network, meet people, have fun, enjoy some great music. Uh, Les Dudek's going to be the featured performer of the evening, and and uh, I'd like to try and get Kenny to go along with us, with us if he would. Uh, hey, Kenny, what do you think? Is that a good idea or what? Great. Great. <laughs> He's so enthusiastic. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We're going to drag him whether he likes it or not. Okay, in just a few minutes, we will have one of the greatest metal drummers in the world. Mr. Kenny Earl here with us. The one and only Rhino. But before that, I want to give kudos to this week's super fans. These folks have put a couple of the people that can be seen in the music venues around our area enjoying their favorite bands and musicians. This week's super fans are Bob and Angie Strunk. That's right, a husband and wife team. Bob is known as Babarazzi because he's always got a camera and he's always taking pictures of the bands and the people who are there enjoying the bands. And these two folks are a really, really big part of the local music scene. They're posting pictures all over Facebook. He does an excellent job for, uh, you know, for somebody who doesn't charge. He's just out there doing it for his love of the music and the love of the local musicians. So hats off to Bob and Angie Strunk for yes. being our super fans this week. Babarazzi. Babarazzi. Uh, we'll be right back. We're going to take a minute out here for an important message from one or two of our sponsors. And we're coming back with Kenny the Rhino Earl. Ooh, yeah, baby! <laughs> we're night after night. Central Florida Printing and Graphics, 772 Washburn Road, Suite A in the big city of Melbourne, right behind Hot Flex off the of Sarno Road. You can visit them www.cflprinting.com. They do my letterheads, envelopes, flyers, postcards, newsletters, labels, door hangers, menus, uh, banners, business cards, all. And if you mention my name, you can add a second color for free. Okay, that's Central Florida Printing and Graphics. Check them out. Mark Lyle down there do a great job for you. You can give them a call at 321-752-8753. That's Penny Any Subs at 2440 Minton Road in West Melbourne. And you got it right because NASCAR's back to 14 screen, cold beer, lunch specials, and the almost famous signature subs. Happy hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday, open pool tournament, and Wednesday free pool. And on Friday and Saturdays, we just relax and have fun. But on Sundays, it's race day, decent, and the fun is free. Mark and bikers are always welcome. That Penny Any Subs, 2440 Minton Road in West Bogot, Melbourne. Hey, we're back, and on Night After Night, it's that time again. Yes, it's time to welcome our special guest, Kenny Earl, a.k.a. Rhino. Woo! Kenny, so glad to have you with us today. How are you, man? Doing great, doing great. Yeah, well, we really appreciate you taking the time to come and visit with us today. Yes, we do. Life treating you well, wife, kids, the whole nine yards. Everything's great. Now Excellent. we're here in Florida, so. Yeah, well, you know what? It is Florida, and it's hotter than... Gotta hey. love it. Yeah, well, it, it. it beats freezing to death, doesn't it? Absolutely. All right, we're going to jump right into this, okay? I hope you don't mind, because we like to keep these things short and sweet. Uh, we love the first Angels of Babylon CD yes. album Thank you. release, Kingdom of Evil. Fantastic. And just so you know, it's in heavy rotation on our personal list here at home. Uh, my favorite cut is Tear Out My Heart. Yes. Uh, is the new record similar in content? Um, I think the new one is a little more... Uh, I'm not going to... The word commercial is not really what I want to say. It's just, uh, I think um, it's it's more radio friendly. Um, there are some heavy songs on there, and just, but it's it's still staying in the, in the epic and melodic vein. I, I love it. I, I'm telling you, I'm not kidding when I tell you it's in heavy rotation here. I play it all the time, and people are like, "Who is that? What Who is, is that? that? What is that?" I'm like, That's Kenny. You know Kenny. He comes to the jams for goodness sakes, and. And uh, the players, uh, tell our viewers, if you would, who's going to be playing guitar on this one? 
Well, I got Ethan Braw. She's been with me since the, the beginning of the band. Uh, uh, I found him on MySpace years ago, and he's from uh, uh, Israel. Wow. He's a phenomenon. He's, he's a, yeah. a shredder. Everybody loves Ethan. They love his playing. And uh, it's just, actually, it's just me and him. We're the only, we're the only people left. Really? Yeah. Okay, so you had Dave Ellison on the last release on, on uh, Kingdom of Evil. Right. But as we were talking the other night, and you said that uh, you're probably going to bring somebody else in from the European market. To yeah, at this point, it's just me and Ethan. And uh, it, when we start to tour, or when we start to play live shows, we'll probably just bring in a guy from, from Europe. Or I mean, I, there's some friends I know out there, some people I, I've been talking to. And at, at, at that point, when we start touring, We'll bring a guy in. As far as doing the new record, maybe I'll just you know, I'll have the same guy that does the record go out and tour with us. I'm not sure who it will be at this point, but um, it's just like I said, it's just a trio. You know, I'm going to sing and play drums at the same time. We we did a little small tour about a year ago in America, and uh, <clears throat> and I <clears throat> out of uh, necessity. I had to sing. Yeah, I remember that. I was so, talking to you yeah. online uh, while you were on the road, and uh, there were some visa problems or something yeah, like that with we, the vocalist we, we from picked, the original record. We, we tried to pick up a guy from uh, from South America. That didn't happen. The original singer on the first record had an illness, and then he quit. So I decided, well, you know, I I originally wrote the melodies and and sang on the demos and. I've been singing and playing drums all my life, and I thought, well, maybe this is an opportunity to do something different. Get the drummer out front, you know, and uh, and, and sing and, and perform and do something, like I said, different in, in uh, the metal vein, and just have a three-piece and, and do it like that. I mean, uh, I figured, why not? Why not? Well, let me tell you something, folks. Kenny is a phenomenal vocalist, as well as being one of yeah. the top metal Thanks. drummers in the world. He Rock comes in. in and he jams with us all the time. We get the opportunity to jam with him. He'll be up there singing, and I'm sitting out there going, hmm, this guy's going to put me out of business. <laughs> yeah. So he, not only that, but he's going to be playing the drums and, and singing simultaneously. And he rocks! Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm looking forward, uh, I'm for one, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on a new record as soon as it comes out, so you're going to make sure that we get a copy of it, right? Early in the oh, game? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's excellent. supposed to be released in January on, a, on Scarlet Records. That's so. your new record company. Uh, They're in Italy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about more about them? Um, they, like I said, they're based uh, out of Milan, Italy. And uh, they've been together about 15 years. Right now, they have. Oh, so they're not that new. No, they have, they have uh, Tesla on their label. Ooh, and, yeah, uh, love Tesla. They have uh, other bands like Empire of Evil, some other bands um, that I guess more than metal. But you have to go on their website and check it out. We're gonna check it out. Yeah. <laughs> so. tell, tell them again who the name of Scarlet. 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 As in the color red, Scarlet. Yeah. Are you okay over there, Rain? Is the, watching you guys. Is, is the tutu bothering you? Is it a little too tight up in the crotch area? Or what's the deal? You can take those slippers off if they're curling your toes. Oh, God, I'll so tell you. Back to Charles. Yeah, back to Charles here. Do you see how close his eyes are together? This is nut after nut. I mean, night after night. Uh, anyway, can you tell us a little bit, uh, in case you didn't know, for our viewers' sake, uh, Kenny was also uh, the drummer for an internationally famous heavy metal band called Man of War and Holy Hell as well as others. Tell us a little bit about your history in Man of War. Can you do that? <clears throat> well, I got with Man of War in 1980. Oh, I'm trying to think back that far. <laughs> 80, it was 88, a world, 88, 89. Yeah. They came to town and played um, a local bar in town as like a, a warm-up shows in America to head out to Europe. And they saw me play with my, my uh, local band there, Archangel. And Which was actually a pretty big band itself. So well, we were very, had a huge following. We had a following there, and they saw me play at the time Scott Columbus was leaving. And after they saw us play, they got my phone number and called me up and asked if I wanted to join the band, and I did. And so I was with them from '89 to '95, touring Europe, and um, yeah, it was a really great time. It was a, it was a shock to me because. I really didn't think they were really all that famous, and I just thought, well, you know, we're going to go out and do a few small club tours. That'll be it. We went out there, and 
you know, we're talking, you know, stadiums. Stadium. The first show I did was just frightening because uh, they had a, a, the curtain pulled and, and I heard all these people out there screaming our name and the curtain opened up and all I could see was just a sea of, of kids out there going crazy and I was in shock. 50, 60,000 kids. Maybe. And, and Joey counted off the song and I couldn't hear him count off. And he, he goes, one, two, three, four. And, he, and I, <laughs> they're playing and I'm not. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck did we do? <laughs> that was the first show. Yeah, but you eventually ironed it all out. Yeah, and got used you know, to it. You became so acclimated and all that good stuff. Good cool. times. Cool, a lot of good times. So you were with them for what, six years? Six, six and a half, seven yeah. years. Yeah. Excellent. And then Holy Hell, a great band. I love Holy Hell. Oh my gosh. You do? I do. I, I like their music. I like the, the melody, the melodic yeah. part of it. The, the, it, it incorporates a lot of keyboards. I love yeah. the vocalists. Great, great band, great bunch of guys. I, I love them to death. Um, and we would, they were affiliated with Man Ward in the same company. And we would go out together, all the, all the tours Man Ward would do. Holy hell, we, we would just follow. Mm -hmm. And a lot of festivals overseas. And uh, again, you know, after I left Man Ward, I, I was out of the scene basically for 10 years. You're talking from 1995. I left Man War till 2005. What, well, what did you do during that? Uh, I, I wrote. A, I wrote a lot. I did a lot of writing in my own little. Stu I built a little studio. I did a lot of writing, and. Um, and you were in Nashville at the time. In Nashville, then we had you know my son in, in uh, 2000, and for those formative years, I wanted to be home with him. Right. And then in 2005, Joey called me and said, "Hey, I'm getting this band Holy Hell together. Let's." go back you know let's let's do something with this and I went back on the road again you had that itch again play yeah I was it was really kind of weird but it was almost as if time just I mean didn't st you know it stood still it like all of a sudden I was out and back again out there doing the same things <laughs> you know and big audiences and, and that whole 10 years just went like that but I was funny, I was working delivering magazines, <laughs> believe it or not. Hey, you know what? I've seen a lot of rock stars do less, you know? Yeah, it was like, you know, hey, you want to go back on the road again? Yeah, you have to ditch that job. And that's well, the singer from Here's Tesla, after, you know, I mean, after Grunge Hit and all of that, the singer from Tesla went to work in a nude bar as a disc jockey for a really? while. Yes, sir, he did. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, all that's kinds of things happen. Um, some world famous guitar players are side painters from the 80s hair band. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, look what I do. I did nothing. <laughs> you do me. Did okay. I say that? <laughs> we can edit that one right out. No, we're gonna leave that in. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> we also know you do some work with Jack Stars, Burning Star, along uh, with another resident of the Space Coast here, Ned Maloney. Anything new on the Burning Star front? As far as I know, we have a show coming up in 2013 at the Keep It True Festival in Germany. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't know. I'm, you know. We're trying to get some shows happening, but as of right now, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, well, Jack's a pretty good friend, and we had him on the radio version of our show a month or so back, and they had mentioned that they keep it, but I didn't realize it was over in Germany. I thought it was here in the States. Nice. Oh. Yearly. Okay, Yearly. right on, right on. Um, what, what, no, wait, maybe it was something else they were talking about. What about the Fallen Police Officers? The fallen oh, yeah, the Fallen Blue. That's a, a, a charity thing going on up north. Uh, in Pennsylvania. Is that where it was or is or something like that? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, maybe we need to get Jack back on and we can talk more about that in the future and have him do the yeah. video show with us. We'd like to get Ned here as well and, and maybe yourself and we can we can uh, talk yeah. about Bur Burning Star in video uh, in video format and all of that and uh, and whatnot. Um, how's the family going, man? Everything. Uh, you know, you've got a wonderful wife named Rusty and a great kid named Zach, who, by the way, just adopted me as his uncle on Facebook. He, <laughs> he listed me as Uncle Charles, which is kind of flattering. Um, he's a great kid. Uh, we all went camping together one time. That was an experience. Total, we won't discuss. Total disaster. No, it wasn't a total disaster, but, but, you guys. So uh, it rained. It rains when you're camping, and there's bugs, and you know, and there's raccoons, and, yeah. and I'm a woodsman. You know, these guys are like, oh. Let's go get a hotel. I'm like, no, no let's rough it. <laughs> it was true. fun. Well, let's put it this way: we have some uh, things to laugh about. 
know, we can kind of get together. We can. We have certainly a lot of things we can. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot of fun. But Zach, Zach's not much of an outdoors. I'm, I am an outdoor person. I just don't like get rained on in the middle of the night. Ah, uh, well, you know, sometimes, especially when a guy says the tent is waterproof. Well, it was supposed to be. I manufactured the damn thing. He said, "Oh, it's okay. It's waterproof." Well, it was. But you know what? Until the rain hit it. <laughs> <laughs> So when it stops raining, you flip the inflatable mattresses, you, yeah. whatever you do, you do what you got to do. And, you know, like you said, it's something we can talk about 20 years from now when we're sitting around. I think that those kind of experiences make for good friendships, though. Yeah. You know, when you go through, you, know, you think it's going to be great, and something turns out kind of not what you expect. And... Yeah, it is. It is what it is. Nothing usually, almost everything turns out differently than what you yeah, originally anticipated. Really but moving right along here, Zach started school a couple of days ago. It's Friday. He started on Wednesday. Uh, what grade has he gone into? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Oh, man, they grew up so fast. That's yeah. what happens when you feed them, you know. I'm trying not yeah, to he's mine. almost as tall as me now. It's yeah. incredible. It's and he's tall. playing guitar, and he's playing drums, and he's singing, and he's in a band called Wrench, his own project. And uh, we had the uh, honor of getting to uh, view Wrench in... Uh, in a live situation a couple of weeks ago, you had a Earl Stock. Earl, Earl Stock. Earl Stock. Yeah, and he and he called me up because I said Earl Palooza or something like that, and he and he and he Facebooked me and says it's Earl Stock, Charles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but we had a great time and a lot of guys there, and, and he's got a, Zach's a very talented kid, and, and, and we love him very much. He's he's, uh, he's one of my favorite kids along, along with mine, Olivia and the artist Kristen, and everybody else, of course, and. All right. what, what's his name in the bedroom now? Brandon. <laughs> oh, love Brandon. We have kids. The beast. The we beast. Have, between Lisa and I, we have six kids. We're like the Brady Bunch on the show. The rock and roll Brady Bunch. Oh, rabbit, no, 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 no. I have two. You're th I'm the, the rabbit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you breed or you? Uh, well, not anymore, thank goodness, because we, uh, we don't want anymore. At any rate, um, we like to keep these short and sweet. We appreciate you coming in today. And, well, thank uh, you for having me. We really appreciate your jamming with us on Thursday nights at Cheers to You. And and, and we hope that you'll come back again in the near future. Absolutely. Uh, hopefully along with uh, Jack and maybe Ned, we can do this again and have some espresso. All right. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Uh, or milk. Okay. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, thanks again, Kenny. Kearney, Kenny Rhino Earl. Thank one of the best so metal drummers in the world, without a doubt, uncontested. Thank you. And one of the sweetest. A people very, as a very, well. very, very, very yeah. cool guy. Yeah. We're night after night. <laughs> and we'll oh, be well, back. you're right. You're sweet. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, Rusty Rock. She does. The tall redhead. Yeah. Oh, beautiful tall redhead. We'll be right back after these important messages. Don't go anywhere. A Best Air and Heat Incorporated, family owned, family operated, serving Brevard for 25 years. Our highly trained and certified technicians provide only the best service available, $39.95 service calls. We offer same day service with planned maintenance agreements, free estimates on all system change outs and all your residential and commercial air conditioning and heat service, and repairs on all makes and models. We use the best equipment with full warranties, providing parts and supplies for the guys that want to do it themselves. Remember, service is our business, maintaining the highest level of integrity in the business, a member of the Better Business Bureau, and we accept all major credit cards. A Best Air and Heat Incorporated. Give us a call at 321-725-8758. I need a get out of jail card. Shelly's Bail Bonds, only bail bondsman in Palm Bay, serving both Brevard and Indian River counties. Family owned, family operated, convenient and fast service. Just to call Shelly Saves the Day, 321 951 7990. So now who are you going to call? Shelly's Bail Bonds, 321 951 7990. Centrix Financial Services, Inc., a full-service mortgage company currently licensed in 19 states. At Centrix Financial Services, Inc., we provide the opportunity for mortgage professionals to achieve. We are currently seeking to hire branch managers and loan officers who possess a great work ethic, honesty, and the desire to be the best. 
At Centrix, we pride ourselves on customer service. We are fully committed in helping the employee close loans as efficiently and quickly as possible. As loan officers, if you aren't closing loans, then none of us are moving forward. You are the most important part of the company and always will be treated in that manner. For more information, call 954-416-3940. We're back. And if you didn't already know, we're night after night on the RSBN Network. Lisa, it's time for you to let us know what's happening tomorrow night around the Space Coast. All right, Saturday, August 11th, we have a new band that's hopping around the scene, whole lot of Zeppelin. They are at Thirsty Bones Merritt Island from 10 to 1 a.m. I believe this is Slash's band, correct? The tribute band he was putting together? Who? Flash. Anyway, <laughs> whole lot of Zeppelin. <laughs> Go see who's in it, because I don't really know. Exit 69 will be at Coconuts from 2 to 6 p.m. in Cocoa Beach. Switch at Neptunes and Satellite Beach for their dance party from 9 to 1 a.m. We have Chain Reaction at Blues Blues and in Indian Harbor Beach from 9.30 to 1.30. Two great bands always put on great shows. Boys from Fun Pipe at Off the Track in downtown Melbourne from 9.30 to 1.30. Wait, wait, our, our, uh, our teleprompter person put Off the Tax. It's off the tracks. I gotta call the IRS on that. <laughs> Vintage at the Sabda Bar Grill. <laughs> I think she Sabda meant the Bar Sandbar. Grill in Cocoa Beach from nine to one a.m. And then our very good friend Tony, um, her group Showtime Entertainment. They put on a heck of a show. They will be at Outriggers Bar and Grill in Miko. She does a killer, killer Liza Minnelli. She's got a an incredible voice. She was a contender on The Voice last year, and I believe she's coming this up on year. The Voice this year. No, it was this year only, and she's waiting to hear back. She's waiting to hear back. Yes. Uh, so we have our, our fingers crossed. Call for her. Her. My toes are crossed. <laughs> it makes my shoes kind of uncomfortable, but they're crossed nonetheless. All right, our guest last week, Mark Lepeska, who's up for favorite drummer at the BMAs this year. His band Swamp Fox with Bruce Marion and the other gentlemen, they will be at the Orioles Club in Mako from 6 to 10 p or 7 to 10 p.m. We have Absolute Blue at the Old Fish House in Grant from 6 to 10. And that's about it for tomorrow evening. Really? That was not much. I picked some of my favorites. Oh, she's, she's biased like that. <laughs> well, thank you, honey. And as always, you are the hot stuff. And that was Lisa's listings for tomorrow night around the Space Coast, bands going on and events and whatnot. We want to remind you once again, folks, about Sam Jam 5 coming up on August 19th at the Pineda Inn on US 1 and our very own Space Coast. Some of the bands scheduled to perform are the Bone Dogs, the DB and the Dukes, Local 518, Fun Pipe, and so many, many more. There will be raffles, a 50-50 drawing, and silent auctions as well. Yes, a whole lot of stuff going on. And Charles and I will be there, so we're hoping you all come out and see what it's all about. We sure will, baby. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we end today's show? I would like to talk about tonight's birthday celebration for Stowey and Animal at Cheers to You this evening. It's going to be a rocking fun evening. Um, there will be some special guests in the house as well as a TV crew. And we won't say for what, it's top secret. But well, it, it should be a blast, but I hear it's a pilot for what, some sort of... Uh, reality thing. Is it a dive bar reality or a really bad band reality show? <laughs> <laughs> because if it's a really bad band, to do with bands. Because if it is, I mean, I fit right in. Oh, stop! Anyway, there's supposed to be a special guest. Been 14 days since I don't know when. Since I saw a hook with my best friend. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? I don't know. I'm told that that guy's going to show up, but you never know. Lee, are you going to be there? I Lee, know a lot of things. Or watching. I don't know. But it's going to be a good celebration. So if you can come out for that and dress to impress because you just might be on TV. Well, we know there's going to be a lot of Jaeger board because Stowey's going to be there. The Ooh, boys yeah. from Who Was I Who Jammed With Us Last Night are going to be there. It's going to be knock down, drag out, rolling out the drunk take party. I'm telling you, it's just the way it happens. It's a dive bar. It's a great dive bar. We spend all of our time there because it's we, a neighborhood bar. Listen to me, honey. I grew up in a dive bar. It's a nice neighborhood bar. <laughs> Audrey, don't get mad at me. 
it's a wonderful place. I do love it. And I love spending a lot of my time there. I spend most of my time there. Ah, that's just me. We want to thank, once again, the great rhino, Mr. Ken Earl, for, Kenny Earl for coming in and spending his valuable time with us. Yes. It was wonderful having him here. And, As uh, always. And hopefully in the near future we can get him, Jack Starr, and Ned Maloney in, and we can uh, we can do a Burning Star thing. And uh, well, I won't take it any further than that right now. Let's see what <laughs> let's see what happens. Um, <laughs> Have him on the show. And speaking of shows, that is about it for the show today. And once again, we want to thank all of our sponsors and those of you that have watched the show week after week. We will see you all next week. And don't forget that JJ's Hot Rays Limo Service is the official limo service of the RSPN Network and Night After Night. So don't drink and drive. Call JJ's instead. Get your limo now for the BMAs. If you don't, there's not going to be one available. I'm telling you because we've got one reserved. And they're, they only have, how many do they have? Like 150 limos? And there's yeah, like yeah there's, not, there's not many. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know how many it's saying. But you better get your car. You better get it on reserve now. Let me tell you something, it's a lot less expensive to rent a limo than it is to pay that $10,000 for that DUI. So goodbye folks, and remember, once a king, always a king, but six times a night's enough. Bye bye, and go see, see a live band now! Rhino! Rhino! <laughs> oh Rhino! Bye, I want you, Rhino, I love you!